Oh, morning, guys. It's a lovely, well, it's autumn now, isn't it? <laughs> nice sunny morning. And I'm now preparing for next spring. You know how I was short this year? I, was, I got caught up short because I can't travel. I had no ivy for the hanging baskets. So, yes, I'm at it again. So, basically, you buy a plant. There's actually four or five in a pot. Because the nurseries, well, I don't think they have the time really to uh, treat individual plants to get a bushy specimen. So they put four or five in a pot. But they're easy to do for cuttings. Now, you can take a length off and put it in a, a jar of water. But I'm not going to do that. Basically, I'm putting them in a the seed tray. But the compost, well it is fresh compost, I've just opened the bag. I'm going to mix it approximately four to one. It's, um, last video I did, I mentioned river wash sand. Beautiful stuff, gritty, clean. So, tray compost. I think two on four will do it. I'm only guessing it. Mix it in. As long as I see plenty of sand when it's mixed in, I'll be happy. The thing is, be careful. I've said it before, too much sand, the roots could be brittle. Same as too much peat can make the roots rubbery. You've got to get that happy medium. Ah, nothing wrong with that. That's perfect drainage. So, without getting it all over my legs, I just want to fill the tray. Get the level roughly, just be precise. Now, a weed in that one. Get out, yeah, bugger. I'm taking it fairly well back. But I'm cutting above a leaf joint, above a node. It'll, it'll, it'll break away from there. So, it's open. Well, maybe, maybe four more branches on that when it comes up. Now, all I'm going to do, just cut midway. I don't need all the leaves on, that's certainly, they'll get in the way. Especially the big leaves. Put leaves from on. Yeah, I like to leave a few on. You'll see in a minute why I'm doing this. The one could have a leaf joint. These plants be potted, but uh, well, the, the moment in three pots. As soon as I finish here, they're going to four inch pots. That should be the final pot for the year. Uh... Yep, that's good enough. If you see carefully, there's new shoots coming out of the nodes. I'll shorten this one a bit. 
I want to get a top on this. Yeah, I actually getting the top out of this one earlier on when I first got them. Get off, yeah, mate. It's another variety of ivy. You get, you get different varieties. Well, that's long enough. And all I'm going to do, I'm not going to sink them, just peg them, just below the surface. Like I said, you can actually put a stem in a glass of water, the root, it's so easy. I'll bring you back when I've got them all pegged in. Right, all done, watered in. Now in these roots, between each node, I can cut individual plant. If I want to put four or five in a, in a pot for next spring, fine, I'll have plenty to do that with. But the watered in, all I need to do now, The only thing left to do with this now yeah. is to label it. Not that it needs a label. Surely I know what an ivy looks like. But it's got the date on the back. When I took the cutters. Lid over. Keep the moisture in. And under the stage of my we still got the sun. Keep it in the shade. A couple of weeks they'll have rooted. About three, four weeks I've probably got them potted up. Now the rest of them, all the small ones, obviously anything like this, I'll take more cuttings. But they're going from a three inch pot to a four inch. Okay guys. Now next year's plants for the garden start from seed this year, lavender. Everybody likes the lavender. Yes, I'm introducing plenty of scent in the garden next year. And uh, I, at the moment it's a bit higgly piggly the way things are planted, but, but for next year there'll be structure, there'll be order. Now I've got a couple of dozen of these plants. It's not too bad bush wise but if you really wanted to bush out from the bottom, take the tips off. Simple. Just a simple trick. This, as with the rest of them, and they make a four inch pot and we'll stay on that on next spring. Now I don't have a cold frame so 
I'll have a place on the staging for them over winter. Same goes for these guys. Wallflower. This one's a red better. Now, if you're not careful with these, they just go leggy. And you get a single spike, a, a single flower head on them, they're no good. Really simple. Just take the centre tip out. And all these little leaf axles at the bottom, they'll all push out. Bushy, well flowered plant. That's what everybody wants. So simple. Now they'll be going out within a few weeks. Now I've got to be careful, I'm going to end up doing a long video here if I'm not careful. Because I've got all my seed, a few seeds to throw yet. Get them well established before the winter. Start putting nice, strong, healthy plants out next spring.